New at 11, new information about an airplane crash in Elizabethan almost one year ago. It made headlines around the world. Dale Earnhardt Jr., his wife and young daughter, and three crew members barely escaped the burning wreckage. Today, the National Transportation Safety Board released 256 pages of investigative documents, a sign that it could be getting close to ending its investigation into the crash at the Elizabethan Municipal Airport last August. News Channel 11's Michael Epps has the newly released Released documents and the never before seen crash scene photos. Yeah, Josh, pretty remarkable damage indeed that you just saw scenes of the crash, but a lot of new information from these documents released from the NTSB. As you can see in these images that they also released, the majority of the plane completely tarnished from the flames, but not the front of the plane. Check out an inside look of the cockpit looking nearly untouched with it, which is remarkable. Part of the long list of documents was a transcript from the cockpit voice recorder. We read through that transcript right up to the point of the crash. One of the last things the pilot said before impact, caution terrain, caution terrain, pull up, pull up, just seconds before touchdown. And that was when things went south. The documents say the aircraft touched down on the runway and bounced. It climbed about 25 feet above ground and then fell hard back down on the runway. And then it made contact on the right wing. The plane kept going through the end of the runway, continued for about 400 more feet before stopping right by the westbound lanes of Highway 91. Now another huge note from the documents, the aircraft's interior crash protected case was crucial in keeping the passengers safe when the fire began on the back half of the plane. Dale Jr., his wife and 16th month old daughter had minor injuries and the pilot and co-pilot were unharmed. Remarkable miracle. You can read some of these documents. Take a closer look at those pictures. All of this posted right now on WJHL.com. Josh.